Hi, today we're going to talk about wetlands and the importance of wetlands to both humans and animals. At one time, wetlands were thought to be useless, disease-ridden, mosquito breeding grounds, and people thought that they should be improved. Many of them were destroyed. We drained them, we filled them to make room for residential and commercial developments. Matter of fact, the school that I teach at is actually built on a wetland. When Interstate 81 was built in the 1960s, they took that dirt and they used that dirt to fill in the wetland, and that area became our school. We've really changed the way that we think about wetlands since that time. So let's take a little bit of a look of what a wetland is and why they're important to us. So a wetland is defined as an area that's covered with a shallow layer of water during all or some of the year. Wetlands actually form the transition zone between dry land and bodies of water, like rivers, lakes, or bays. Wetlands are really special because they actually support more wildlife and plants than any other kind of habitat. Wetlands are important to wildlife because they provide food and they provide shelter. They provide a breeding ground and a nursery for young animals. Wetlands are important to migratory birds. They provide nesting and resting areas. Wetlands are also important to humans. They are very important for maintaining good water quality. Wetlands are huge with helping to control flooding. They store floodwaters. Wetlands help to reduce erosion by slowing down runoff. Wetlands act as a filter and they actually filter sediments. They trap nutrients. They help to break down pollutants and recharge our groundwater. There's three main types of wetlands that we're going to talk about today. Swamp, marsh, and bog. We're going to start with a bog. A bog is a wetland that's defined as a cool, poorly drained area with moss. The only source of fresh water in a bog is rain. So since no streams carrying nutrients flow into bogs, a lot of plants such as the Venus flytrap get its nutrients from the insects there. The type of vegetation that you're going to see in a bog, and vegetation means plants, plant life, something called sphagnum moss. You may see some pitcher plants, which are pitcher shaped and actually hold water, and things like Venus flytraps. Bogs are usually found in cool northern climates. The next type of wetland we're going to talk about is a swamp. If you've seen the Disney Princess movie, The Princess and the Frog, this takes place in a swamp in Louisiana. So in your head, you might have a picture of what a swamp looks like. Also, a popular show on the Discovery Channel at one time was Swamp Loggers. You may have seen this when you were flipping through. Um, swamps defined as a flooded forest. When you see a swamp, you'll see lots of trees and lots of shrubs sprouting from the water. You'll see trees such as cypress trees, willows, oaks, and vines. Swamps usually are found in a very warm, humid climate where trees can quickly grow. The last type that we're going to talk about is a marsh. If you've ever been to the Everglades, the Everglades in Florida is the largest marsh in the United States um, system. So a marsh is defined as a flooded grassland. They often form on floodplains where rivers overflow their banks. Okay, when you find a marsh, one of the ways that you would know you're in a marsh is that it's a flooded grassland. So you'll see lots of grass-like plants, things like cattails and reeds. Marshes are so good at cleaning polluted water that people are actually building replicas of this wetland type to be able to treat wastewater with, from farms, from parking lots, and from small sewage plants. The climate in a marsh is usually going to be warm and humid. Let's take a look at this picture and see if we can guess what type of wetland environment is shown. By looking at this, you might notice that there are some very tall plants. Maybe they're very grass-like. And if you guessed this is a marsh, you're absolutely correct. 
take a look at this picture right here. Which wetland environment is shown in this picture? Just by looking at these plants here, you can see that it's some type of a Venus flytrap that would get its nutrients from the insects. We know that bogs do not have any type of water supplying it except for the rain. So we can assume that this is from a bog. Which wetland environment is shown in this picture? Well, by looking at this, you can see it's a tall grass-like plant. You can see that this is also a cattail, and that signifies that this is a marsh. Take a look at this picture right here. Which wetland environment is shown? By looking at this, it looks like a flooded forest. You can see lots of cypress trees, and this is a swamp.